Welcome back to another video brought to you by ISCA Engineering. In today's video, we will be talking about contactors. We will cover the working principle as well as components and uses. This video is a continuation in the motor control and systems series. If you haven't watched any of the previous videos, I highly recommend watching those before continuing this video. Before we dive into the video, if you are not yet subscribed, then please hit the subscribe button, like the video, and leave a comment. Also hit the notification button so you won't miss any of the new videos uploaded. Let's get started. A magnetic contactor is a magnetically actuated device for repeatedly establishing or interrupting an electric power circuit. The contactor is similar in operation to the relay. The difference between the two is that the contactor is used in applications with higher current carrying capacity, whereas the relay is used for lower current applications. There are two circuits associated with the operation of the contactor, the control circuit and the power circuit. The control circuit is connected to the coil, and the power circuit is connected to the main power contacts. The working principle of a contactor is as follows. When voltage is applied to the terminals of the coil, the current flows through the coil, creating a magnetic field. The coil magnetizes the stationary iron frame, turning it into an electromagnet. The electromagnet causes the contactor core to move the armature. A normally closed contact completes the circuit between the fixed contacts and the moving contacts. This permits the circuit to pass through these contacts to the load. When current is removed, the coil is de-energized and opens the circuit. Contactors are used in conjunction with pilot devices to automatically control high current loads. The pilot device, with limited current handling capacity, is used to control current to the contactor coil, which is used to switch heavier load currents. Another more common use for contactors is using them in conjunction with an overload relay assembly in an AC motor starter. The example provided shows a contactor used with an overload relay to switch a motor load. Two-wire or three-wire control may be used to switch the motor. A two-wire control circuit is commonly used in applications where the operation is automatic and the pilot device starts the motor automatically as needed. A three-wire control circuit is similar, except it has an extra set of contacts used to seal in the circuit. Generally, these types of circuits are controlled with a start-slash-stop push button. Auxiliary contacts of a contactor have a much lower current rating than the main contacts and are used in control circuits for interlocking, holding, and status indication. The example provided shows auxiliary contacts being used to seal in slash hold the motor to keep it running after the start button has been depressed. Contactors break current over a wide range from a few amperes to thousands of amperes and over a range of low voltage to thousands of volts. In addition, these electrical devices come in varying sizes such as from handheld sizes to those gradually bigger. This concludes the video over contactors. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave it in the comments section below. In the next video, we will be looking at timing relays. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at ISCA underscore engineering underscore. The links will be provided in the description. There we post content on electricity, controls, automation, and much more. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.